this is it. Good evening, y'all. Good evening. Okay, now y'all come on back in for me. I do apologize, but I have to adjust some things. What's up, Mallory? So y'all come on in. I want to make this real quick. And I'm going to make this real simple. Make this quick. I'm going to make this simple. Um, Now, I know for a fact that you guys are... Uh, you guys been seeing what's been going on on Facebook between um, this amazing organization of justice and the freedom fighters and the leaders, the organizers. Everybody's been, everybody's seeing it. We can't, we can't miss it. Um, I, for myself, I don't get myself until it's a lot of stuff. Good or bad, bad or good, whatever the case may be. I just go about my life and go about my day. But I would have to say this. If you think that Jedediah Brown is a fraud, if you think Jedediah is doing what he's doing to gain personal benefits and self-care, if you think that Jedediah is doing this all for himself, Me personally think that there's something mentally wrong with you. For years I've been knowing this brother. I've been knowing this man as a brother. And when I've been knowing this brother as a leader. And I didn't I didn't let's I want I want to make this clear. Is that I didn't come around him, he didn't come around me. God sent him to me. And God sent myself to him. For years, in the midst of activism, organizing, advocacy, whatever the case may be, I've seen a lot of corruption. I've seen a lot of contracts being signed off. I've been used to the best of my ability and my intelligence as an intellectual young man from the south side of Chicago by other organizers and activists in the city of Chicago. But I've not ever in my life been used or misled or was given a form of direction that was misleading by Jedediah Brown. Never in my life, not one single time. And I refuse to let anyone or anybody destroy what this man of God has constructed to change and save lives, not only in the city of Chicago, not only in the state of Illinois, not only across the United States of America, but literally across the world. And so now we have to be mindful. We have to be strategic. We have to be careful. Most importantly, we have to be humble. Can't trust everything you see. Even salt looks like sugar. And I'm not getting on this lie to bash anybody's name. I'm not getting on here to say that one person did more work than the other. I'm not getting on here to say, I'm not here to take sides. But I'm going off what I know. And I don't do speculations and guess. I provide pure, genuine, and authentic facts. But if you know me, and if you guys have been following me to see me grow and develop to mature, you guys should see that I keep Jedediah Brown on the side of me like a side bone. And I have not left his side, not one time. Throughout all of the allegations, the speculations, and the guests, have you ever in your physical lifetime, with an entire time you've known me, or been following my page, or follow me in general, have you seen me bash his name, or get on Facebook and say, Jedediah did this, Jedediah did that? Have there ever been one time, and please, I beg of you right now in this midnight hour to post any screenshots of me saying something negative about my brother. If you don't have anything to say or anything to, to post, yeah, you just simply don't have anything to post or anything to say. 
But in the meantime, we need to look at the bigger picture. We have an assignment. God called everybody, but not everybody answered the phone. God left voicemails for everybody, but not everybody checking their voicemails. God called me and I answered the phone. God called Jedediah and he answered the phone. He didn't leave us no voicemails because we always answer the phone. One thing about being an advocate, organizer, or activist, especially a leader, it comes with sacrifice. Especially when it's genuine and authentic. You do not seek attention. You do not seek self-gain self-benefits, personal benefits, whatever the case may be. You don't seek and look for that. But one thing about me is that I know fake when I see fake. I know true when I see true. I know a snake when I see a snake. And I gotta say, I have not seen no form, no fashion, or no direction of ungracious leadership and Jedediah Brown, not only as an activist or an organizer or an advocate or a leader, but simply as a brother and a human being that was sent from God. Simply as that. If you are a naysayer, if you have something negative to say, please remove yourself from the following list on my page in Jedediah Brown's as well. If you are in the justice group, please remove yourself if you have something negative to say. But I will say this. I do appreciate all of my followers, and I appreciate the individuals who, who made a decision to consistently follow me after the Kanika Jenkins situation in the case of me being on and off of the case. I appreciate you guys for continu continually to follow me, to watch me grow and develop. But now, the time has come for me to take full responsibility and leadership as a leader for the organization of justice. It is time for me to get more serious about this organization. It is time for me to implement more time and efforts to ensure that there's a change being constructed when there ever, when there are ever an, an act of injustice happening across the United States of America. So I say that to say this, I am taking full leadership to the best of my ability and to whatever I have to do in this organization, but not even just this organization, but this family. And I encourage you guys to get more serious with me as well. I always say you cannot play games with real life situations. But if you think life is a joke, if you think fighting for justice is a joke, if you think Jedediah Brown or myself or any other organizer activist in this organization is doing this as a joke, please throw your entire Facebook page away and delete every account that you have throughout social media in this physical lifetime. So I say all of that to say this, no matter what anybody says about my brother, no matter what the enemy bring against my brother, I know for a fact that what the naysayers are saying are not true. And I know for a fact that people are gonna talk about you to the day you die. And it ain't nothing you can do about it, but let them talk. But one thing that I always learned, and I always remind myself, is that when people put my name in their mouth, they are giving me power. I get messages daily when there's when there are negativity or when there's negativity or something bad is happening in other people's eyes. People say, Lamont, you managed to keep your name clear. Lamont managed to not respond to it. Lamont managed to not put himself into it. But what's going on right now is not it's not. I, look, let me say this. I said it before and I'm gonna say it again. And I hope y'all take this with y'all with on this live video. Sometimes it takes a form of disunity for a group of individuals that were sent from God, only if you're sent from God, to come back to be stronger than ever before. And it's not about how you leave, it's about how you come back. So many people are trying to define you. So many people are trying to figure out what you're doing and how you're doing it. But at the end of the day, myself or Jedediah Brown is not gonna let anybody define who we are as human beings. What more do you want from this man? He's only human, just like any and everybody else. And But for anybody to sit here and think you're gonna use somebody's past, you're gonna use somebody's past to destroy them, you have another thing coming. 
But you're not going to do that over here. I will say this. Sometimes your past can be the spirit of defeat. But not over here. So be careful on digging up the past about Jedediah Brown. Because your past will be your spirit of defeat. So remember this. I don't only bark. I bite. Peace and love over violence and corruption. Peace and love over violence and corruption. Peace and love over violence and corruption. And remember, ain't no misusing funds over here. Ain't no disunity over here. And ain't no division over here. And if you don't like what we're doing as freedom fighters and freedom leaders, you can get the F on somewhere. Because at the end of the day, you're going to remain focused. But most importantly, you're going to remain consistent. People need help when they need help. But you can't be scared to call on help when you need help. So with that being said, I know the real Jedediah Brown. Y'all too busy trying to figure out the Jedediah, the real Jedediah Brown. You guys do more guessing and more speculations than asking questions. You assume more than you ask questions. But at the end of the day, I know what I know. So I encourage you guys to hop on board with me and get to know what I know. So to all of the organizers and activists in, the, in this justice group, in this justice fight, this justice family, congratulations for making it this far, but we have a long road ahead of us. This journey is a thousand, a million miles long, but we can only take one step at a time to get to the end goal that we need to get to, to ensure that we are changing and saving lives across the world. I'll see you guys in the next live video.